Welcome back to the workshop. It's time to finish this crib. My daughter needs a bed. She's been sleeping in the dog's kennel. Just kidding, but uh, seriously, let's get started. First, we have to prep the crib for finish. This involves punching in all the nails that are securing the molding, fixing the nail holes and any others that mysteriously appeared with wood putty, and then sanding everything smooth. Now wipe everything down with mineral spirits. This will clean off the wood and it will also reveal any glue left over that was missed during sanding. Go back and fix that and it's time for stain. I'm using Minwax Wipe On Dark Rose Stain. Just wipe it on with a rag, let it sit a couple minutes, then wipe off any excess. Even my wife is getting in on the action. I use cotton swabs to get into the small spots, since a certain company has a trademark on the household name for that item. But that's how you know you've arrived, isn't it? When everyone calls the generic version by your product's name, like hook and loop fastener tape, or hot tub, or slow cooker, or ice resurfacer machine. Someday I'll do that. It'll be something along the lines of, oh man, Nick Offerman is one of the best Carolina craftsmen I've ever seen. Anyways, once the stain is on and dried, it's time to protect it. I'm using some oil-based satin polyurethane in my sprayer, and then I use a foam brush to clean up any drippage. I did three coats of this, and in between each one, I sanded it down with 220 grit. Once it dried, I moved it into my daughter's room and put it all together. Same process as the dry fit, except make sure to inflict the necessary bodily harm to your loyal pooch and then feel really bad about it. Oh, sorry, puppy. No, I'm it's... so sorry. Oh, the poor puppy. Oh. Nah, he the baby. Oh. And we're done. What an awesome project and learning experience. The cats love it. The baby loves it. But most importantly, my wife loves it. The dog's not so sure after the incident. We don't talk about that anymore. All right, thanks for watching. I've got a link to my Instagram and the tools I use down below. Make sure you hit that subscription button and the notification bell and tell your friends about this. It'll really help me out. Plus you'll be spreading the joy of woodworking. I'll see you on the next one.